Hello, this is Leslie the Boss, and I'm gonna be unpatching the mysteries behind the Jurassic World Indominus Rex. Yeah. So I pulled up an image. Uh, I'm gonna look at it closely. Uh, you can see the T Rex. It has. It looks like it has a snake. But like right there, it looks like kind of snake-like. Uh. It looks like right there, well, like, four fingers. And I had cartoon oh source DNA. Uh, that might be Therizinosaurus, or, or, once again, Spinosaurus. It might be Spino. Uh, the neck also might be the sauropod. Uh, the mouth. Uh, the Morphodon. That's the only thing I can do of that mouth. It has to be demorphed on. Uh, uh, let me see. I just used it, so I don't need to. Uh, how tall it is? I'd say about. It would be. Hmm. I just say. I don't know. Probably Giganotosaurus. Uh, the back, I say, will be Ankyl Ankylosaurus. Because it's purdy. But I'm going to be pulling up another image. Here's a better image. Now, seeing it, yeah. It's definitely a length of t as the T Rex body with Therizinosaurus arms, with Giganosaurus's height, Spino legs, uh, Tenoboa tail, I believe, and a sauropod neck. Now, another thing in the movie there's two Indominus Rexes, cause one. It can't get from the old Jurassic Park then all the way down at the Avery within like 10 seconds. So, oh, I didn't go with the camo now, did I? Uh, well, y'all know that. It's cuttlefish. It's a cuddly cuttlefish. Uh, so like, it's two. There's two endowments. There. You know, it said, and it even showed the skeleton. What if it just pulled out its own bones? Like, what if it just did that? Which would be frighteningly freaky. I don't know. I just think there's two. Two Indominuses. But let me know what y'all think. Are you recording? Yeah. Wait, uh, the arm hair. Uh. Hmm. I don't know what to think about the arm hair. I don't know. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.